time to imagine it. I'm here with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson, and you have your safety glasses on, so I'm going to join you. What are we doing today? We're going to talk about sound today. Okay. And it's a really simple thing that you've probably done at home. Right? It's, mm -hmm. it's got some wine glasses here, and if you just dip your finger in the water, mm -hmm. and then, you know, pick up a glass and then rub it on the top, right? Go ahead and give that a try. Okay. Let's see if you can do that. And if you do it just right, you can get the glass to begin to vibrate. Normally, I, I do know this trick. It's a good one. Here we go. Oh yeah, I hear it. All right, so we're having some difficulty with this. Yeah, so a little bit. That's okay. That's why I brought my speaker. Okay. Oh, so sure. We're gonna try to do travel this. around with this. I do. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try to see if we can actually break a wine glass using sound. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. And so the reason I wanted to get them to vibrate is so we could sort of hear their natural frequency, sort of their. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear it. It's pretty faint. Yeah, I can hear it. Uh, here we go. So every object has a frequency it likes to vibrate at. So if, are you a singer? Do you know how to sing? Maybe a little. A little? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so you hear that pitch? Mm hmm Can you sing that pitch? Uh, no, but really belt it out. Uh, So I set you up a little bit. It is possible to do that. Okay. Okay, and you can try that at home, but it, it it's really hard to do. You got Oh, get, you were thinking that I could break that I glass. I think you shatter the glass, yeah. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be. Try, Maybe I needed to hire Practice, office. practice okay. at home. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put this um, right in front of this speaker. I've got a signal generator over here that creates sound. Oh, I was worried about myself. Okay, so that's... That's the frequency that is... I don't know, we're gonna okay. find out. We're gonna find out what the resonant frequency of this hmm. glass is using this really complicated paper straw technique. So Fancy. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. And I'm gonna change the frequency a little bit. I'll turn it up a little bit louder. We're gonna see where this, where it starts to move around. So we sort of zeroed in on the frequency where the glass is actually moving back and forth and our, our straw began to move sure. a little bit. Sure. We're going to take the straw it. out. And this time, I don't know, it's going to be pretty loud. I'm going to crank this up as loud as it goes okay. to see if we can get the glass to begin to vibrate. You may want to use those or you could just plug your ears if you want. Okay. I'm going to put mine on because I can't plug my ears. All right. Well, I better put mine on too. So if you're watching this morning, it's going to get really loud. Fair warning. Okay. So here we go. We're going to crank it up. Okay. we go. I got the glass vibrating so much that we were able to get it to actually crack. That is crazy. Uh, using just the power of sound. And you always hear about that or see it in an old cartoon, you know, kind of the setup that you had with me here. You do. And, and so if you're going to try that at home, uh -huh. one thing that's really important is don't go buy a brand new um, glass. You want glasses that you have like washed and inadvertently scraped against one another that might have like a little scratch on the side. That'll help it break a lot easier. Okay. And in fact, I've got some really cool high speed footage of what this looks like. So on the left, that's the glass when it's breaking. These are two different glasses, right? And a little coffee stir and there's bouncing around. Yeah. But look at the glass on the right. That's a top view of another glass. Appreciate how much the glass actually vibrates, how elastic that is. It keeps moving. That's crazy. Before it breaks before it breaks. Now, in full disclosure, the glass on the right, brand new out of the box. Ah. I could not get that guy to break. Really? I blew okay. out probably 10 speakers <laughs> trying to get that to work. They're replaceable cones. But the one on the left, I put a tiny little scratch near the top edge, mm -hmm. and within seconds, Interesting. It, it, it snapped. Okay. So you can mimic that at home simply by using old glasses. They'll have little scratches, imperfections on them. Okay. If you want, I've seen people do it. If you sing loud and hard enough, you can actually break it right in your hand. Oh my goodness, all right, challenge accepted sometime soon <laughs> here, Carl. That is really cool. Well, that is this week's Imagine It, and uh, make sure you ask mom before you use her wine glasses. Just a reminder, it is Saturday. That means that paid Lucas County adults that bring a child here, the child gets in free to Imagination Station, and that's how you imagine it.